Do you know that Microsoft has its own package manager? Well, if you don't know anything about it, then please watch the video till the end. Cause in today's video, I'm gonna talk everything about Windows Package Manager, aka Winget. So without further ado, do, let's get started. So Winget was released in 2020 and as it says it is a package manager, just like Chocolaty. By the way guys, if you have ever used Chocolaty then please comment down below what was your experience. Winget is totally free and you can get it right from this github page. I'll put the link in the description below. From here just download the desktop app installer MXIX bundle and after downloading it if you run it. It will ask you to update your app installer. So just do it. And you can also do it right from the MS Store. Now to use Winget you have to open command prompt or PowerShell. In command prompt or CMD type in Winget. And if as a result this comes out that means Winget is properly installed in your PC. There is actually some few useful commands in the Winget. With Winget, you can install or uninstall any kind of application without even going to a browser. You can also get any information about the software you are using with the info command. You can search any application or software with search command. You can see which version of software you are using and you can also upgrade the software. You can also troubleshoot with Winget. You can see all the commands usage and overview in the Microsoft official webpage and again I'll put the link in the description below. So let me just show you how you can exactly use the commands in the Winget. So suppose you want to install Brave Browser. So in the cmd command and make sure the cmd command is run as administrator. Type in Winget install Brave. And if you hit enter and it will find two similar software with the same name. In this case we want to install the Brave browser. So again type in Winget, install Brave and then to specify type in double hyphen id and then copy the id and paste it here. And then press enter. And it will ask you for confirmation. So type in y for yes or n for no. And the installation process will begin automatically. Just like this you can use the uninstall command to uninstall any kinds of software. Just type in Winget uninstall and the software name. You can use the list command to see which software are installed in your PC. Just type in Winget export then hyphen o and a folder path and export Then you can go to the folder and you can see it. The file will be exported in .json file so you might need some code editor to see it. Just like this you can use many commands in Winget. I'm here using the Winget version 1.3.2091 but you can get the latest version of it. And maybe there are some extra commands in the Winget. Maybe. So that's for today's video guys. If you find this video helpful then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell to get interesting videos like this. My name is Simon and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way guys it's been a long time I haven't posted any video on this channel. That is because I was stuck in some exams. So I hope you understand my problem. School life you know. So next time I'm not gonna delay any video. 
So make sure to subscribe my channel. That's all I'm gonna say.